In 1938, two brothers-in-law, John Prentice and Poldy Bentley, fled their native Austria with their families as war loomed over Europe. Entrepreneurs and industrialists at heart, they opened a small veneer plant on the banks of the Fraser River, a first venture for the pair in a new industry in their new country. From this modest beginning grew one of the largest integrated forest products companies in the world. Looking back over 75 years, it is clear that Canfor has made an indelible mark on the prosperity and history of the province of British Columbia and Canada as a whole. As we mark Canfor's 75th year in business, we salute the spirit and ingenuity of the company's founders, our leaders past and present, and the tens and thousands of men and women who built their lives and grew their communities through a career at Canfor. The Prentice and Bentley family at Canfor really transformed the industry in British Columbia when they came to Prince George and built not one but two pulp mills. I can remember John Prentice, every morning when he would come in and we'd meet for the first time, he would shake hands just in a very formal European way and then after that we'd get down to business. Poldy was a little bit more abrupt than John Prentice at times. Poldy could recognize BS from a mile away and wouldn't hesitate to call it such. I remember the first time I met the Bentleys was at a 25-year dinner. It really struck me at that event that the Bentleys walked me through a bunch of the pictures from the early days and could actually tell me the names of people and what they did and uh, several of their relatives and where they were in the organization today. Well, I first met Peter Bentley when, before, long before he knew me because he, I worked for a company in downtown Vancouver, Bull McLean its name was, and his father would come in from time to time, Peter would come in the showroom, and he was that tall, good-looking, very polite young man. And everybody, I can remember, uh, everybody was always impressed with uh, Peter Bentley. One day, I came up with uh, some kind of a new, new way of doing something, and I suggested to Peter. And Peter's reply was, that sounds like a good idea. I'd like to discuss that with Daddy and Uncle John. I always remember that. You know, that was the true family coming through. You always felt that they sincerely cared about the people of the company. It didn't matter if you were a logger, if you were working in a sawmill, if you were a salesperson, it, it didn't matter. Peter always exemplified that particularly and represented that well for the family continuously every day. Standing tall is an apt description of, of the way people can feel about the company. When I came to Ken for the part that struck me about the uh, community here was the trees and how tall and straight they were. And it's sort of symbolic of the company as well. We stand out, you can see our facilities anywhere from within the community. We stand tall amongst a bunch of different businesses. Imagine moving from, uh, in my lifetime, from uh, logging with horses and sawing with steam engines uh, to today's uh, modern technology and helicopter logging, high-tech uh, manufacturing facilities, uh, high-speed, high-quality, safe operations. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal. Show me another industry that is more sustainable than taking a tree, creating dimensional lumber, taking the chips, creating pulp, and taking the waste and creating energy. From there, we have most of the high technology industrial products in our facilities today operating and we have a great future. In an article he wrote in 1972, Poldy Bentley laid out his beliefs on the forest industry and his vision for the future. He wrote, I doubt if any men have contributed more to the building of the West than the logger and lumberman. These men stand beside the homesteader, the cowboy, the trapper and the miner as Western heroes who opened up the land and released its wealth for public use. The lumberman is continuing to play a vital role in the Western economy, and he will play an even more important role in the future. We intend to take this company uh, continually moving it forward based on some of the strong values that we've all been fortunate to have worked with with the Bentley and Prentice family over so many years. Happy 75th, Canfor. Happy anniversary, Canfor. Happy 75th, Canfor. And here's to you, Peter.